Hey guys, John Trousdale here at PRI. We're here in the Diablo Sport booth to talk about the Trinity T2 tuner. You told us a little bit at SEMA, now we're diving deep at PRI. We're gonna get into the guts of this thing. Absolutely, yeah, we're excited about it. We, uh, we've announced a December 31st ship date here at the end of 2017, so it's a good way to roll into to 2018. The T2's here at PRI. We're in the Holly MSD booth with Diablo Sport, and we're really excited about launching it here in just a few weeks. Now, for those who may have missed our SEMA coverage, tell me, what's the, the prime application for this T2? Sure, so Diablo Sport's known for late model muscle, gas truck, and SUVs. Uh, we will also be adding diesel coverage uh, later in 2018, which is new and exciting for Diablo on the, uh, on the Trinity line. So it's got a, a comprehensive uh, application listing and coverage, late model muscle all the way up to 18 on applications already. So we're, we're trying to be innovative and first to market on a lot of this stuff and, and obviously bundling that with a new form factor here that we'll talk about that is cutting edge and best in class. Uh, the unique thing with the T2 is that we have a, uh, an MX version and an EX version, which we're kind of stratifying the SKU structure a little bit to accommodate more customers. So the MX, it's a new platform on the T2. It's going to be a digital gauge cluster for monitoring only. Uh, so we think that there's a lot of people out there that may already be running a, a tuning device or not necessarily interested in tuning, but they want a sleek monitor. So we now have that with the T2 MX and then the EX, which is really what we're known for, which is our performance programming and tuning paired with the digital gauge cluster. Um, it's a five inch capacitive swipe touch screen. And um, I think when you see it, you're going to be pretty impressed with it. I was going to say, that's what jumps out at me is this touch screen is just beautiful and it's fully, it's like, it's like having an iPhone on the dash of your car. It is. Everybody's loved the Trinity, our T1000. It's, it's been in the marketplace for quite some time, and so we're excited to kind of add new features and, and stay current with you know, modern technology, and, and we think we're kind of on the front end of that, and our customers will enjoy it and, and reap the benefits. So Jim, in addition to that coverage, you've got something very interesting for the late model Chrysler guys. We do. 15 and up Chrysler is a unique market for us. And now what makes that unique for the viewers out there who might not know? Sure. So what we have is a, an unlock process in the form of a PCM swap and a P-Kit. And essentially what that means is customers cannot tune those vehicles without an unlocked PCM. The T2 is available with the process we use, and that is a PCM swap where we can swap your core with an unlocked PCM or we can deliver you an unlocked PCM with the T2. So that market is unique to Diablo Sport. We excel in it and we're excited to add that coverage to T2. That's super interesting for those guys who are trying to find a way around the encryption. You've got a solution. Absolutely. Jeep, Hellcat, Charger, Challenger, Ram Hemi, 15 and up. It requires that process and we're best in class. Those Hellcats need some more horsepower, let's be honest. We always need more, yes, absolutely. So let's talk specifically about what this thing can do. I know it's got uh, both alerts and warnings that you can preset to your own parameters? It does. So we really give the user a lot of customization options in here. So depending on which monitors that you're monitoring, which you can lay out and select yourself, you can also set warning and alert levels for that. So, you know, if there's an individual that may be into racing or 0, 060 times or just overall performance, they can watch that like a hawk. Uh, they can set the parameter, they can set an audible alert for the warning and the alert threshold and really kind of make sure that the vehicle's dialed in and doing what they need it to do at all times. You know, if somebody wants to monitor their, their real-time speed, you know, that's one thing you may not need the tick marks to be uh, too dialed in, but it's something like transmission uh, temperature or race-specific PIDs, you can actually uh, increase the uh, frequency of the tick marks. So you can really get down to the nitty-gritty as far as uh, where that PID is measuring out. And so we think that's important for customers. We give them the option to do that in the menu. It's very intuitive. Uh, and again, it kind of goes back to the alert and warning thresholds where depending on what you're doing and when you're doing it, you now have the options to set it up however it makes sense for you. So Jim, when you say PIDs, what exactly are you talking about? Sure, so it's the values, the data that we can broadcast uh, from the PCM, from your onboard computer and your vehicle. And all SAE PIDs are going to be available on the T2. And then we also have a, a wealth of enhanced PIDs and, and data values that you can monitor. Uh, some of those are pretty lengthy as far as the way they're named. So what we've done is we've included an information icon on the device. So you can always click to learn more and see exactly what that value is. And now quickly take us through what are the different values that we can monitor, measure, and adjust. Sure, they're really endless with the T2. Uh, all standard SAE PIDs, we have some enhanced PIDs as well. Transmission temperature, boost, intake air, inlet temperature, uh, real-time speed. So it, it's comprehensive as far as what you're able to do there. You mentioned real-time speed. Performance tools, obviously something you're known for. What can the T2 do on that front? As far as performance tuning, uh, we add up to 90 horsepower on gas trucks and SUVs, up to 60 horsepower on late model muscle cars. Um, again, we'll be adding diesel coverage, but you're going to be in the area of 100 horsepower on max gains there for diesel trucks. So it's, it's a meaningful power, again, paired with a, a sleek device that's going to give you everything you need to know in real time. 
You mentioned earlier the MX, that's new this year, that's monitor only, EX is monitor plus tuning. Now on the tuning front, say you get to that point where you're looking at stage two, looking at maybe some engine internals or some hard parts, can this grow with you? Absolutely. Yeah, Diablo Sport's known for giving the customers that option. So we have a great network of third-party dealers that use our CMR software. Uh, most people are familiar with that if they know the Diablo Sport brand, but essentially it's custom tuning software that third parties use for race vehicles, and the T2 can grow with the customer. So custom tunes and maps can be loaded to that device by our network of authorized dealers, and that's really particularly for guys that are going to be doing racing uh, at an authorized or sanctioned track on a vehicle. So the racing guys, but even maybe, you know, I put a mild cam in and I just want to make sure everything looks good. That's sort of a, a scalable solution with the T2. It is. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we call uh, preloaded tunes our can tunes that come for, uh, for people that are going to be doing daily driving or looking for performance. But if somebody does take that next step and add a cam setup or a header, uh, they can use CMR to get it dialed in using one of our third party dealers. <laughs> All right, so Jim, I want to get my hands on one of these things. Where can I go to get some more information? Sure, you can visit us online at diablosport.com. diablosport.com. I'll be sure to check it out. Stay tuned for more PRI coverage.